What's up, schmoes? What's going on? Look, we're in a different land. We're in a totally different place that is unfamiliar and scary in a way, but also intensely cute. So I really can't complain that much. We're out of Garrig Mach today. I'm used to seeing Garrig Mach behind me, but not today. Right now we see uh, the Galler, Galler area, right? We see the Galler area, and that's cool. I can tear, oh, that's probably why the, the volume is so quiet. I can fix things. And the volume needs to be much less uh, insane in my ears. I'm using my new Mobius headset, which I just made a little video for, uh, that I'll show you guys soon because it's really good and it it's they sound really good, like real good, and I'm excited about them. You guys can hear me now, right? Well, usually I put on some music. Why don't I throw on some music while I say hi to you guys? It's always a little bit of an adjustment as we get into a new uh, game, which we are today. There we go. There's some music. Playing some Overclock Remix Rain Wave right now. Thank you, uh, Capri98. I, I am sure I love your shirt too. I don't know uh, what shirt you're wearing, but. Marvel DC11, welcome. Golden Zari, welcome. Four Winged Owl. Music Sky G, Clown Hubert has returned. Dr. Senshi, Purple Pens. Diego, Cherry Fawns, Evelyn, Achilles. Hi, everybody. I hope you guys are doing great today. I'm doing great today. This is like super intense music going on in the background. So we're here to hang out and we were out of Fire Emblem. We're gonna play some, some Pokemon Sword. Now, here's some interesting facts about me and Pokemon. The last Pokemon I played was Blue. Blue. So, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's been a while since I've taken on anything Pokemon-ish. That, well, that's not true. I think I talked about this last stream. Uh, and I have to turn off, there's 3D sound on these headphones, and it's just, it's not working for me right now because I'm not playing a 3D game. But I could switch the mode. Okay, one more. One more. And... 3D off. There we go. Now, now, okay, cool. These headphones, um, they have face tracking. So if you're facing the sound source, like your computer, right? And uh, you turn your head, the sound starts coming out of here as though like you literally turned your head, which can be a little dis like a little discombobulating um, when you're hearing your, your voice monitor back. Uh, so I turned it off for now. Anyway, so I, I lied. The last Pokemon game I played wasn't blue it was pokemon snap in chat if you played pokemon snap drop that in chat right now i want to know if you played snap what's up white mitch yeah pokemon snap was an awesome game i think i saw before everyone was talking about snap I, this is weird because i don't voice anybody in this game I actually don't know that this game is particularly heavily voiced. Uh, one of my friends said like, oh, you're gonna have fun playing Pokemon because there's lots of voice to add. So that's pretty cool. I'm excited to just like add random voices. It's not voiced at all. Oh, excellent. Well, then that makes sense. I was like, boy, I don't, I didn't hear any of my friends. Any of my other voice acting friends were in this game. I wonder where they, there's nobody. <laughs> So that's great. We'll have a great time coming up with, uh, yeah, Greg Chun probably does all, all the voices. I'll do my best to go ham and give everybody the, the, give everybody some voices, but that could be exhausting for a couple of hours. Well, we got a lot to do today. We have a fun halftime. So like usually we have a halftime game. Uh, in Fire Emblem, it's Dear Abby. In Trails of Cold Steel, it was um, breaking news. So for Pokemon Sword, uh, at halftime, you guys are going to get the chance to make up Pokemon. We're calling this the Fokedex. You guys make up Pokemon names and submit them to the mods. During halftime, Professor Treja will uh, come and describe to you what those Pokemon are, 
uh, all their all their um, their powers and their descriptions. And uh, our resident artist, Ice Milk, will be doodling some of these as well, so that uh, at the end of it, you'll get to. If I can, this is this is a little bit of a logistics mess. We just kind of thought of this yesterday, so I always want to do something fun for halftime. So halftime show for Pokemon is the Pokedex, where you get to come up with weird Pokemon, and I will tell you what their properties are, which will be really interesting, considering like I don't even remember what properties of Pokemon are, and we're not going to find out if we don't get to the game. So, let's get to it. The hardest thing we have to decide so far is what language to play. I'm going to go ahead and, and be non-adventurous. We'll be playing in English. Ooh! Okay. Well, that guy kind of looks like me. Oh, what's my name? We had we had you guys come up with... Um, uh... Yeah. Who's Joe? Who's Joe kind of sounds funny when people are like, hey, who's Joe? I guess we can go with Trija. Or Schmo. You guys want Trija or Schmo? I'm not picking Lawrence. We already got this, this Schmo or Trija. Oh, I see a lot of Trijas. Okay, Trija is the clear winner there. So Trija it is. Should it be Professor Trija or should it just be Trija? Let's go with let's 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 uh let's uh let's go with Professor. Whoops. Professor This is, it's all very quiet, isn't it? Oh, we missed it. Okay, Professor. Can we make it with that? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Okay, we're good. Professor Trija. Yeah. He's, so what if he's 10 years old? He's very advanced. Very advanced. Don't worry about it. Ooh, we're on YouTube. We're on Poketube here. All right, let's see what's going on. I am, I am going into this utterly blind. I have no idea what to expect. I know nothing about this game. Welcome, one and all. Welcome to the wonderful world of Pokemon. Our beloved Gala region is a wonderful place with thriving nature. Little circus, little... Beautiful cities and many Pokemon with which we share our lives. As you know, our society is able to thrive. Wow. Thanks to help from these mysterious creatures that we call Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon are all around us in the sea, in the sky, and even with us in our towns. And those of us who choose to raise and train Pokemon to do battle and compete, we call Pokemon Trainers. I feel like he probably doesn't have to explain this to a, a stadium of 50,000 people. Oh, but I'm getting carried away. Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Rose, and it is a ple- My name is Rose, and it is a pleasure to be here. Now turn your gaze to the Galar region's greatest Pokemon trainer, your undefeated champion. It's time for Champion Leon's Exhibition Match! Hell yeah, Leon. Yeah oh, that pose! Damn! Damn, son! Exhibition or not, Leon, your pristine record is about to end. Oh. You know I don't lose battles, Rayhan. Charizard, Dynamax! This is hard to come up. They're all British? Is that like... Pokemon Sword. Rated E for everyone. 
Um, is it canon that they're all they're all British? I won't remember the Leon voice. That went by way too quick for me to, to develop and keep a character. Sorry. I'm actually going to fix something on my camera here real quick. There we go. That's nicer. I feel I feel a lot more contained right now. Who's Hop? So I got to figure out like who these people are before. Oh, that your new flash? That flash? That your flash new phone? That your flash new phone? You know the only way to properly cheer on Lee would be with his famous Charizard pose. I feel like I'm going to be doing a lot of like freaking 10 year old boys, huh? Hop, didn't expect to see you here today, dear. Isn't this the big day? Yeah, that's exactly why I came running over to get Professor Treacha. I have to say this now. Never mind watching the match now. I've got it recording at my home anyway on my DVR. I record all my brother's matches. Come with me, Professor Treacha, who's my younger brother. He should be here any midget, minute, any midget. This is rough. And Lee always brings presents when he visits, so I wouldn't forget that bag if I were you. Now I gotta run. See you at the mine. See you at mine later. Are they going to the mine, or does he mean my match? I don't know that I could like physically sustain. I, I will take breaks, going like, uh, going full bore acting every voice in this in this game. I'll 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 lose work. Uh, should we have a narrator voice? Even though I know it's his voice, right? Should there be a narrator like, It's the television that mom uses to watch her comedy dramas. Yeah, like the regular, It's a fireplace with fire in it, built into the house. It keeps things warm in the harshest winter. Good, okay, yeah, we'll go with that as the, Munchlax leaves leftovers around in bed from time to time. Silly Munchlax. There are lots of books and magazines about Pokemon, neatly lined up. Oh, a little, a little Snorlax? There are lot. Oh, we already read that one. <laughs> Claudable. <laughs> yeah, we got. Where's my, where's my megaphone one? Is this, this one? Claudible hopes you've enjoyed this presentation. Love it. Okay. I'm already kind of a little bit in love with this game. It's adorable. Rushing off in that state, Professor Trija? Didn't Hop stay? You should bring your bag. I'm wearing a basil leaf in my hair. Where's my bag at? Where's my bag at, Ma? Oh, is this it with the hat on it? You grabbed your old dad's bag. Spin in place. Please spin. Okay, I will. I'll spin. Looking very dather there, Professor Treja. Uh-huh. 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 Spin. I'm... I'm... What do I... I'm doing... I'm pressing the right stick. What the hell happens? I'm trying to spin. What are you talking about? Spin in place. What? I'm... I'm doing it. Keep spinning. Are you guys okay? Well, welcome, Genialis. Left stick. Keep spinning for a few. S left joystick. Whoa! Oh, there we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that pose. Thank you, guys. Thank you for alerting me to that. That was that was great. Can I open the refrigerator? I love the bumping into things noise. It's like you're always walking into padded walls. Pika? Ch 
shoes. Now can I leave or do I have to put my shoes on her? Or is that can I take some of the hard boiled eggs that they have out on the No, I can't. Do I have to talk to mom again? Oh, don't you look a treat. I knew that bag would suit you. Now hurry along. Hop is waiting, isn't he? I feel like she's getting higher and higher as I'm going. Yeah, someone told me that I need to turn off autosave, which I will. Okay. But I'll save now. Save my progress. But they, everyone liked the smooth British voice. I don't want it to be too obnoxious, because don't forget I have to do it for the next, how long is this game, 22 hours? Can I leave the house, please? Okay. Hop is waiting for you, better head outside. Oh, this is a loading screen. Oh, right, I have to hydrate. Thank you. Aw, they're so adorable. I'm in for 20 hours of adorableness. Ha <laughs> ha, have a look at you, Professor Treja. That old bag looks like it could pull you over. At least we know that it should hold anything that Lee might bring, even if it's as big as a Snorlax. Oh, what is that animal doing? A wooloo? Well, what's it doing there? Did you just notice that, man? It's like a foot and a half away from you. Is that Dadoo's wooloo? Badoo Dadoo Dadoo wooloo? Stop it! Stop the animal from hurting itself, guys. You have an, uh, you have an, uh, a moral obligation. You silly wooloo is not what, all right. Everyone knows there are scary Pokemon living in the slumbering wield. Wild? <laughs> well, thanks for coming, Locots. Locots. How about it, Professor Treja? Let's race. Bet I can make it to my house first. What with you lugging about that big old bag? And everyone's supposed to be British, but I'm not gonna... I know, right? <clears throat> Hi, Dragon. This is basically just, uh... It's cartoonized cockfighting. Who are you? The power of science is amazing! <laughs> oh, man. Okay, yeah, all right, all right. Oh, I don't even need to control the camera in this game. That's kind of a load off, to be honest. Obligatory science quote. I know, I really. All right, what's going on here? Who are all you people? Mom, is he here? I like how even the adults have to call me. Hey, Dova Sakin. Dova Sakin. Nice. Whether you're playing shield or sword, you're welcome on my stream. This feels wholesome. I'm not gonna. I'm. I do have a sensor button, but I feel like I shouldn't even use it because this is so wholesome feeling. Wedgehurst. And that's where I'm going. You know Lee is hopeless without directions. I'll make sure he doesn't get lost on the way. Bye, Mom. I gotta go. See you later. You can't miss out on your chance to meet the undefeated champion. I don't think I would be friends with Hop if that's the way his voice was. Oh, wow. Hello, uh, cat person. Meow. Wait. I probably wasn't supposed to go upstairs. Who are all these people in his house? How many people live in his house? It's a well-used training machine. Pokemon probably can use it too. Pokemon get abs. Pokemon, do you even lift? It's one of the TVs that Hop always watches the champion's matches on. 
Oh, his grandparents. Can't you hear the rock music? Wild Pokemon couldn't come out of nowhere if you walk through patches of tall grass. I've got my Wulu with me, so I'm ready for battles against wild Pokemon, of course. Not you! You suck! So we'll steer clear of the tall grass as we go, you pansy. Come on! Route 1. So if I go into the grass, will I just like automatically die? No wandering in that tall grass for you if you've got no Pokemon of your own! Mate? Come on. What about these? Oh, come on, Hop. Welcome to Wedgehurst. Oh, is it Leon? See, now that I'm looking at him again, I feel like he needs a different voice than the one I gave him. I'm gonna give him a different one. Just because of the way he made that smile and the, and the facial hair. Something like, Hello, hello, Wedgehurst! Your champion, Leon, is back! I promise I'll keep doing my best to deliver the greatest battles for you all to watch. Well, thank you for that! Someone requested a Chad. Chad, that's pretty Chad-ish, right? Yeah. All right. I'm glad you like it. Why is that guy in the back just sitting there patting his belly? He's like, I'm here for the cookies. <laughs> Too true that Charizard is blazingly strong, but other Pokemon can be strong as well. That's why I want the strongest of challengers to fill the gym challenge and come battle with, him, with me. To battle. My wish is for Gallo's trainers to work together to become the strongest in the world. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Up! My little brother! So my number one fan and all the world has come out of his way to pick me up. Look at you, Hop. So small and weak. Bingo! That's the sort of sharp eye that's kept you undefeated so long, Allie. And these bright eyes over here. I've got it. You must be Professor Treasure. Am I right? I've heard loads about you from my little brother, who again is small. I'm the Gala region's greatest ever Pokemon champion. And a massive Charizard fan, too. People call me the unbeatable Leon. That hop. <laughs> Always wanting to be the best, isn't he? With a proper rival of his own, I bet he'd push himself to become something truly special. But right now, he's not special at all. Well, everyone, goodbye. That pose. That paw, that pose, jeez. I'm gonna put this a little off axis. I keep popping my peas. He does have sponsors all over the cape, huh? Come on, Lee. You promised us a present. So out with it. You brought Professor Treja and me Pokemon. You did, didn't you? I know you must have. Right then, the greatest gift from the greatest champion. It's showtime, everyone. Ooh, 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 ooh. I bet he's gonna give, give me my score bunny. Take a good look, you two. <coughs> the fire type Pokemon score bunny and the water type Pokemon Thubble. They're adorable and I love them all. I love them. 
There he is, guys. You all picked him. He just released a bunch of wild animals in the in a yard. Doesn't see what are you? Hey! This Oh my god. Stop it. All right, line up everyone. Which will you choose? Keep in mind that the two that you don't choose are going back to the factory. Don't feel bad though. What? What else was going to happen to them? All right, which one are we picking? We're picking we're picking because you all asked. You said you wanted Score Bunny. You guys are going to have to get used to some gallows humor if you're in my stream. I'm sorry. Score Bunny is fire type. It's filled to bursting with fiery passion. Heck yeah, I am. You chose Score Bunny. We did it. Okay, that's it for the stream, guys. That's as far as I go. Back to Fire Emblem. Yes, I'd like to give Score Bunny a nickname, and you know what that nickname is going to be. Throw it in chat. You guys know who it is. Scorids. Oh, God. Now the, the man I hate the most in the Fire Emblem universe is going to follow me throughout Pokemon. Thank you very f much. This is all your fault. Scorance is a girl though, right? In this particular? So it'll be score bunny for you? Nice one. I'll go with Grookey. You're mine. Aw, oh, Grookey wants a hug. So the two of you can battle and train and grow stronger together to try to reach me. <laughs> That'll never happen. I'm too good. And <laughs> Scrabble. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm looking at this relationship of like a giant dragon and this tiny little water Pokemon, and I'm not sure it's going to work out well. Trainer nonsense. Screw you, moms. You just don't understand me, Mom. Pokemon are important. Dinner's ready, children. No one goes to the factory. Yay. Whatever the factory is. is was he cheering on the kebabs there? Holy. <laughs> it's not a phase, Mom. Pokemon are real. The next day. You spent the whole night with that new partner of yours, right, Hop? You two getting on all right? Understanding one another? Getting ready to fight? Maybe even building up a bit of love? Oh, now I feel awkward. Of course I have, Lee. Professor Tree just made fast friends with his score bunny, too. And he doesn't say anything, since he's a silent protagonist. So he's really easy to get along with. Then listen up, new trainers. Believe in yourself and your Pokemon. If you trust in one another and carry on battling side by side long enough, then someday you might even become worthy rivals for me, the unbeatable champion. Wow. Now we're getting, it's like all, all of a sudden, we're not really friends. Just have, just having a Pokemon when you just make you a real trainer, you know piece of shit. Proper trainers raise their Pokemon up to be first rate in battle, too. Ho oh, ho 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 ho! And you think you're worthy of calling yourself such a proper trainer already, huh? Leon got drunk there for a second. Oh! Oh, first thing- alright. Yeah, come on, let's fight! Yeah! Believe in your partner, Pokemon. To have a champion time battling with them. 
Well, uh, to be fair, would, would you have cared if the Pokemon were not on board? Is this a consensual relationship? I've watched every match that Lee's ever had, which means I don't have friends that much, so I'm... Oh. Uh, I've read every book and magazine. Wow. You are challenged by Pokemon Trainer Hop. Holy sheep! Go score it! Oh my god, I love it! Can I... Was it fight and then... I don't know how to do this at all. Oh, this is switch Pokemon. Alright, alright. Fight! Uh... The user growls in an endearing way? Just get him. Oh, it wasn't much of a tackle. He kind of kicked him in the face. Oh, they're tackling each other. Oh, you will never get me. Get him. Bah! I like the, uh, it's cool because I even recognize the, the whole, like, the battle angle from blue where you had the one Pokemon sort of on the left at a 45 and then the other Pokemon on the right in the distance. So it's neat. It's like they kept even like the, um, what do you call it? The frame? I'm not a cinematographer. <clears throat> we'll call it the frame. Composition. They kept the composition. Scorins learned Ember, but probably still didn't learn how to have a good haircut. Oh, you're going down, Grookey. <clears throat> How about some of this? <laughs> Oof, it's super effective. Did you already know about type advantages? Uh, yes, because my chat told me. I'll take you down. Oh, here we go. Later, Grookey. Scorin screwed to level seven. My name is Scorin's Hellman Gloucester. Should that be? Should Scorin's have a voice? My name is. I don't know if I could do a, a Ben Diskin impression. Yes, I'm so. Hungry. Well, that was a shock. You beat the tutorial battle. Good effort out there, Score Bunny. Why don't I get you all sorted? Sorted? Was this, was this Harry Potter? <clears throat> ah, he's got a favor. I have something to ask of you. Uh, be a real rival to Hop, would you? Yeah. I'll fight my friend all day. Do you even disc him, bro? No, Mac Mac, I don't. I should have been on as a guest. I don't actually think we've ever met in real life. You think you're ready for the single greatest competition in the Gala region? Not putting the cart before the Rapidash there, little brother. Ooh, I made a Pokemon pun. Best to think about getting a Pokedex. Okay, I'll get a Pokedex. Can I have one from you? Give me your Pokedex. Right, right, we'll get our Pokedexes then. We're on it! Looks like it's off to the Pokemon Research Lab for you and me, Professor Treja. That's the kind of enthusiasm a trainer needs. Uh, Is it getting dark? Oh. Yay! And... Pose! <clears throat> Can I go in the garage? Oh no, I gotta go all the way home and talk to my mom, right? Uh, to me mom. I've got to go all the way home. Uh, crash! 
Uh oh. A wild something approaches, I bet. Ah, oh, someone wet let the wooloo out. <sighs> it was tackling the fence pretty hard. Yeah, we gotta let's go save the wooloo. This is the kind of scene where you simply have to do what's needed. Is he, is he breaking the fourth wall? This is the part in the video game where we have to go do stuff. We call it the inciting incident. Flumbering wield. I'm glad, uh, later Gatorful. I'd remix the hell out of this music. I like it. Do you guys like I didn't even mention it before. Do you guys like the new overlay? Right? The little accent here? It's all Pokemon. It's all Pokemon stuff. I'm glad you like it. That's the way my, my artist, uh, Corgian, designed it. It's basically this base thing that has motion on it. And then whenever we're playing different games, we'll make different... Well, I won't do anything because I'm an idiot when it comes to art. But uh, he'll make different um, little accent overlays, which is super cool. <clears throat> I'm glad you like it. I like it too. <gasps> Exclamation point! Wow. Wove it. Go, Scorins. Uh, I'm gonna growl. I haven't used that move yet. Oh, it's not gonna attack me. Oh, that probably wasn't very necessary. Oh, well, I might have defense fell. So let's uh, let's burn it. Oh, that was pretty effective. Yeah, is this the part where I kill every last one of them? Bye, Squovit. Yeah, I find that in most RPGs, like, I, I never use buffs and debuffs. Games, like, for some reason, it's just like this tradition where you don't make it really useful for the most part. And there's some exceptions. I probably don't have... Do I have Pokeballs? What's in my bag? I uh, know. I got no balls. Did you hear that, guys? I got no balls. I will catch as many of them as I possibly can. What's in the grass? But I want Pokeballs. I don't want to just, like, fight rando Pokemon. Oh, the fierce... Rookity! Go, Scorins. Rookie D's unnerved. What? You're too nervous? I'm just gonna use Ember on everything. Oh, jeez. Ow! I can't catch him. I don't have any Pokeballs. Did you hear that? Was that a Pokemon crying out, do you think? Let's go find out. Oh no! It's a squirvert. Squovert. No, oh, I didn't want to tackle him. Ugh. Squirrel. No, no catching on this stream yet. But there I, I will. Eat this fire. Oh, 
You can't touch me. Imagine being a squirrel. Yeah, the king of Dippin. Treasure, that Wulu might be in real trouble. Burn every last one of them. I will definitely name uh, a solid amount of Pokemon after Fire Emblem characters. Don't worry, guys. This is mad. That's the expression he's got on. It's like. Oh, shit. Ah. Lord. A wild trio of... Yeah, really? Look at this matchup, guys. Come on. This is obviously one of those battles I'm supposed to lose. Oh, it just fit. The move has no effect. Can I run away? What? The move had no effect on it? Can we run? You can't run away for some reason. Nani? Oh, it like phases in and out. Oh, now you're dead. Now you're, you're, uh, yeah, that base is pretty, pretty bopping. No, I'm not okay. We're in the woods. Come on, Scorins. I've played Persona 5. I'm in Persona 5. Persona 4 is good too. I think I think P3 is my favorite to be honest. Not to get off topic. Oh, I'm passed out in the forest. That's it. Oh, you still got that. Uh, I am the IT company president in Persona 5, who is one of the mini bosses in the last dungeon. Um, are there I can't imagine there are any Brits on the stream right now, but your your pants with directions is that like a thing? Is that like an expression? Oh god, your pants with directions. Your pants with cooking. You can't cook a fish or anything. Or is that like a weird that's a thing? Okay. I wasn't really All right. I'm not up to speed on British slang. Thank you uh Thank you, all the Brits, for... Well, I mean, I get the uh, idea that it's... Do I know how to do a Scottish accent? I should do this one for the redhead when they show up. Sure, I'll do a Scottish accent for whichever ones I can. I'll probably get lambasted by some of the Scots in chat. Be like, ah, what are you doing with my language? You sound like you're gargling garbage. I got you covered. Guys, don't worry. Don't worry, I got you covered. Little chap is just fine. All of you had fainted by the time I found you here. You did good, Hop. Coming into the... Irish accent. It's funny. The, the better I got at Scottish and the less I use my Irish, it's not, it's not as good as it used to be. I used to have a really solid Irish. I, I, I could brush up. I did see the Scottish trailer. It was good. No, Welsh is hard. I can't do that one. But you seem to pass right through it. You moves pass right through it? You're not moving movie enough. You're not a champion. You're small and weak. That wasn't really an earful. What an experience! 
Oh, gosh. Irish is a lot about crunching on the R's. It depends on where you're from, you know? Uh, don't forget to tell your mom we're off to Wedgehurst now. She probably didn't notice that you were gone while we were passed out in the forest, but, you know, just go check in. Oh, I gotta go up to my house. Look at the stride on this guy. Like, his footsteps, he's going, he's going. Cogni accent I can kind of fake. It's not real. I actually did it for the Lord of the Rings game. Oh, you guys, guys, dad, hey, yeah. Right. Uh, I played a bunch of trolls in that. Well, now, isn't School Bunny just a sweetheart? And yes, I heard the news from young Leon. I'm glad someone bothered to tell me. You don't call... <laughs> Maybe I should have gone for, like, the, the guilty New York mother. Somebody bothered to tell me. You call your mother. That's all I ask. A bit of pocket money. All right, Mom. Why are you wearing rain boots inside? Buy yourself a little something at the Pokemon Center. Maybe some potions. Or some Pokeballs. Remember that Score Bunny will battle to the very end. Fa? Fa? Look after my little Professor Treejar. Come home to rest any time that you need. After all, east or west, home is best. <laughs> That was a little bit of a Tigger laugh, wasn't it? <laughs> Bones? Uh, alright. We're out of here. Did she give me Pokeballs? Bag. I do! I got five of them. Heck yeah! Haha! Uh -huh. And now she's just Mickey Mouse. So long! So long, Professor Chija! Have a great time! Haha! Uh -huh. Yeah, 30 grand. I would love it if my mom just handed me 30 grand every time. Mom, I gotta go to the store. Here's a car. Here's a nice car. Uh, let's catch something over here. Isn't there like, isn't there woods over? No, it's uh, down this way. I actually don't remember what I'm supposed to do now. Go, golden deer. Here we go. This is quite the big step, you know. My first step toward becoming the next champion like my brother is. Uh, Grookey having a pound of tall grass. Okay. Pokemon Research Lab. Yay! Do I have to fight these walls of... Yeah! Get whatever you are. Uh, why is... Go, Scorins! Now, he's got to be in the red to capture him, right? That's how it goes. Let's, uh, let's do this. Okay. I can't read the chat. It's going quite fast. Uh, Yamper, Yamper. Okay, red or yellow? All right, I'll get it this time. Don't you know who I am? Pokemon bag. Pokeball, use this item. Nailed it. Wait, does it this sometimes break out? I, f I forget how it goes. Gotcha! Squalvit was caught. Oh, yeah, new attack for Scorance. Squafael it is. That was a great suggestion in chat. Nice. I, I forgot whoever would suggested it. Thank you. That was an excellent suggestion. I'm gonna catch. Oh no! I don't want to. I already have one of you. Uh, 
Uh, let's actually switch Pokemon. Oh no, you're almost dead. I have to heal it. I have to heal you. I guess I did the quick attack. No, why would I run? I got this one. We're all good here. Is there an uh, EXP split, like in most RPGs, where like if you're not actively engaged in battle, you get experience, but not, not a lot? Come on, you gotta take him out. So is is it split or does? Well, let's see. So okay, plus fifty four, plus thirty eight. So it's like a. Almost like 100% and then 70%. Look, a Pokeball. I found a... Oh, that's not what I expected. So now in my bag, I have four Pokeballs and potions. And everybody's... I'm a resource hoarder. I want these burbs. Give me the burb. Your team is too nervous. Why? Oh, I see. It was restoring all my resources after battles last time, uh, but now it doesn't, so. Huberb is good. I like Huberb. Except I accidentally killed it. I'll try again. Okay. Uh, this is another female. So I guess Huberb doesn't work as much. Don't leer at me. All right, let's, uh, I think tackle might take it down just enough. Ah! Level up! Yeah, Burbadetta is what I was going, oh, come here, Rookie D. Go, Scorance! another female. I should just throw a ball at it? Stop. I'm not killing them, they're just fainting. Oh, well that was easy. Burbadetta. Love it. No, get away from me. I don't want to fight you anymore. I'm done with you. I want to go to the Pokemon Research Laboratory. Come on, Woolies. Get the f out of my way, you sheep. Oh, I didn't realize I had to go that way. Run away. You heal with your mom. Oh. I'll take whatever that is. Two paralyzed heals. A spray type medicine for treating paralysis that can be used to free a single Pokemon that has been paralyzed. Come on, Wooly. Wooloo. It's like a, a sheep with dreadlocks. That's cool. What if I set it on fire?
Okay. Okay. All right, now we're ready. Defense curl. All right. Time to hopefully add a Lulu. I think Dudulu. Dudulu is nice. All right. Oh, it's a girl. Marilou, Marilam, Marilam. I like that one. That's it. I'm glad I have a bunch of smart, punny people in my chat. Now we're in Wedgehurst. Oh, the Pokemart. I'm here to buy stuff. I got $31,000. How many of these do I have? Maybe I'll take two of these to come. You know, I'll just kind of have them hanging out. And maybe I'll take uh, a couple of these. No. No, that's it. That's all. That's all I want for right now. There's no balls. I know it's not the... The champion's here. Come on, go to the research lab. Hey, Leon. Well done, you reached the goal and managed to find the Pokemon research lab. You did as far as I'd better than I did my first time back when I was your age, 10 days ago. See how your world has already grown, all thanks to having Pokemon with you. I know I'm sure glad I've got Charizard with me. He looks like he's gonna like attack me from behind there. We have spun in a circle, thank you, King. I was guided to do that at the early. It is almost halftime, guys. Well, it really is halftime. We'll stop in a good break point. Um, so we'll we'll be doing it. Drop it in, in the chat mods, what we're doing. You guys get to come up with a Fokedex. You submit fake Pokemon names to the mods, and then Professor Trija will have to tell you what they are and what their skills are like. This will be probably a little bit rough today since I'm not ultimately that familiar with Pokemon, but I will. Uh, I'll do my best. Hmm. I like her shoes. Those are cool shoes. Hi, Kitty Games. Good to see you too, Yamper. Yamper here is a real champ when it comes to helping you find your way around. He came to my rescue plenty of times back in the day when I got lost on the road. And that's his trainer, Sonia. Well, I like the way she cooks, which isn't massive, uh, not a chauvinist thing to say at all. She makes food you can gobble down in a flash. Welcome to the 1950s. She's pretty and she can cook. The professor's assistant. This is Professor Trija, which is going to become very confusing in a moment. He's a new Pokemon trainer. Set him on the right path. <laughs> head in the clouds. You know, head in the clouds was not the destination I thought you were going to go for there. A Rotom phone? Oh! Is the phone a Pokemon?
Uh, I mean, I... Nah, I don't really know a lot about Pokemon. Don't worry! I will... I will tell Gran. Yes. Wait, can I do anything? Is Gran the professor? Bonk. Bonk, 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 bonk. Okay, actually, now that we have the music in the background for the uh, the Pokemon Lab, let's go ahead and uh, let's have halftime. You guys want to have halftime? Let's have halftime. Hi everyone, Professor Trija here to talk about uh, Pokemon that I suppose that you all have been uh, uh, curious about different Pokemon that you have found in the wilderness and you've come to me for my expert opinion. So, if you'll bear with me, I have to bring up your list of questions. Uh, welcome to, to Professor Trija's lab. I am Professor Trija, here to answer your questions. Uh, should it be, should it be British? I don't know if I, uh, put it, it sounds a little bit like my tea time voice. I feel like if I take the, the accent out of it, it sounds a little more professory. The hat is very nice. Uh, uh, Akialin. You asked, um... I, I, just as an aside, I wasn't able to get a lab coat, but there's actually one that's coming in the mail tomorrow, so don't worry about it, okay? Oh, yeah, so <laughs> maybe I should be Scottish should I've got this hat on, but no. Uh, it, Professor Trija, this is very difficult to... Uh, Akia Lin uh, uh, asks about, um, Larvander. I feel like I should make a little thing here. I'll make it right now so we can see what Pokemon we're talking about right now. Right there. All right. The Pokemon in question is uh, uh, Larvander. Let's make a different font. This one. I like that one. Okay. Uh, so... Larvander is actually named for um, Larva. It's a very small Pokemon that is worm-like in function, and also uh, its uh, its special moves. Uh, it, it goes into a cocoon. It's called pupate. Uh, it, its its main move is called pupate, which takes roughly six or seven days to wrap itself in. Uh, in a in a little cocoon, and it dis, it's immune from harm. So that's Larvander for you. Uh, Larvander it, it evolves into uh, Mothman after after several weeks of training and pupating. Uh, Queen Kilvane asks for about the Pokemon. Joe Mamamon. Uh, Jamamamon. It's actually... Jamamamon is an ancient Pokemon, one of the oldest in the, the Fokedex. Jamamamon is... It's major... It's major power. It's actually a small, annoying green glob of things that just has a giant mouth. Uh, and its major thing is, is uh, Jamama jokes. Uh, it's, it's insults mostly come from the 1990s, back when the internet first came out. Uh, it often makes Joe Mama jokes, uh, trying to lower the morale of its opponent. However, its real issue is that it doesn't have enough, uh, self-confidence to do anything substantial with its life, uh, because it is just a, a big bully. So, 
Sobble Squad setteth is asking about uh, the fish and chip. Now, the fish and chip is very interesting in that it actually originated uh, from the fungus in various public houses around the Galar region uh, where people often ate fish and chips. Uh, after, after several uh, million years of being in public houses, which haven't been around for that long, so it's quite a medical and scientific marvel. Uh, the, the fish and chip Pokemon actually just looks like a, a, a jar full of breadcrumbs. Um, and it's, it easily blends into kitchen implements and the grocery store. Uh, its major power is actually, uh, uh, it's actually mostly effective against people with a gluten intolerance. Uh, it, it, it would cause them to have very uncomfortable flatus for several days at a time. Booty Farts wants to know about the uh, uh, quite stylish Pokemon Dank Noodle. Now, uh, the Dank Noodle is a long, uh, slithery Pokemon. Some would say snake-like in origin, uh, but most people actually just say it's noodle-like because rather than slithering, it flops. Uh, the Dank Noodle is known for developing memes, uh, particularly dank memes. Uh, and it uses these memes to confuse Pokemon of the older generation who just don't understand what a meme is or why it's funny. Paradox Prophet asks about uh, a Turcota. Now, a Turcota is actually a mid-level evolution of a Turquette which is a small bird-like Pokemon with a large uh, sort of gullet that hangs from its neck, not to be confused with a turkey. Uh, a Turkota is a mixture of a uh, the Turkette and a Yoda Pokemon. So it speaks with the subject and object of sentences completely reversed, which is very confusing. Uh, it's mostly there to confuse the opposing Pokemon until it becomes so frustrated that it leaves. Naked arcade bubbles, you walked into an utter sh I am Spoon Von Eyer is asking about the Spoon Bender Pokemon. Uh, the Spoon Bender Pokemon is actually uh, a computer program inside another computer program that uses its mind to bend things. Its major power is it traps you inside of a different computer program uh, and then really f***s up the second and third movies. White Fang is asking about the Edge Sword Pokemon. Now, the Edge Sword Pokemon is an evolution, again, from the Edge Lord Pokemon. Its most its powers mostly consist of being depressed uh, and standing on balconies. If there is a balcony, you're going to find an Edge Sword Pokemon standing on the edge of it, looking out over a grassy field. If there is a moon, it's, it's really tough to get them out of their, their mood. Uh, and you'll be and they're actually very easy to catch you just set the pokeball behind them if there's a full moon It's very easy uh, They'll just they'll just come right into the pokeball if you can paint the pokeball to look silver It'll think that it's a moon and uh, the edge sword will just jump. It'll just jump right in Really like an incredible amount of suggestions in this list. I won't get through them all, but I love you guy. I love you guys for doing it. Oh, I like this one. Okay. Uh, Carbisex asks for the Schmoover. Now the Schmoover is a very interesting Pokemon. The Schmoover belongs to an elite group of Pokemon known for their utter averageness. They are unremarkable in absolutely every way, which is what makes them remarkable, which is an utter paradox. Uh, these sorts of paradoxes are how it confuses 
and mystifies its enemy and eventually goes in for the kill. Uh, its best move is hydration, in which it just drinks water to the amazement of absolutely everyone around it. They are very small, round Pokemon with, uh, they, they kind of look like thumbs, like thumbs that are just running along the outside of the, of the grass. They don't like to be in grass because they get lost very easy. Uh, they, they are, yes, we'll say they're ghost type. They're ghost type of Pokemon. That's a, that's the Schmover. Uh, we only have time for one more. Uh, that I think is a very important Pokemon to talk about. And that is... Goose. Now listen, listen students. I want you to be extremely, extremely careful around this Pokemon. Because you don't want to get anywhere near it. It will f*** you up like you wouldn't believe. If you're carrying anything, it will take it. It will get you wet. It will steal your things. It will it will force you to spill your tea. It will force you to have your bra thrown at you by your nosy neighbor. You want to stay as far away from this. Oh God. Oh God. Uh, everyone, you guys should just run. Just run. Hey guys, what's up? I'm back. Uh, I hope you guys learned something. In, um... I'm gonna move myself over here. I hope you guys learned something from Professor Trija. Uh, I hear his uniform... Uh, I hear his uniform isn't in yet, but it, it will be soon. So just be patient, and I think, I think Professor Trija will evolve as we go. Uh... Yeah, I feel like every time Professor Trija comes on, we should be like, Greetings, Professor! So, I'm glad, I, I hope that was educational for you all. Uh, let's talk about... Actually, you know what, let's do... You guys want to do a giveaway? If you're new to my stream, first of all, I haven't said, like, I haven't introduced my... What a, what a jerk I am, I think that everybody knows who I am. If you're new to my stream, my name is Joe ZJ, I'm a voice actor. Uh, and i probably best known for Claude in uh, Fire Emblem Three Houses, but I've been in a, a bunch of games in anime and cartoons and stuff like that, and I just, I like games, so I'm here. I don't voice, well, actually now, technically, I voice everybody in Pokemon, so nobody's there, but it's halftime right now. We'll get back into Pokemon Sword in a second. I have some prints that people like. I'm gonna start a giveaway right now. Yes, I play Gavin and Achilles and, and all kinds of uh, folks. Uh, please don't enter the giveaway if you're not in the United States or Canada because it is prohibitively expensive for me to ship this to you. But, uh, you will type, I think, exclamation point ticket in just a second. I gotta get it running. It is exclamation point ticket to get a ticket so that you can win a signed print by me of any of the prints you see there for uh for all those folks and i'll send it to anybody in the united states and canada as as thanks for coming out and watching my stream because i have a great time with you guys so we'll let that run for a minute uh and you'll see that in the corner i think as we continue but i haven't done an art feature in a while so let's take a look at some art Oh, uh, let me actually, before we do that, I want to go back to the prints and copy over my incentives because I didn't do that before. Nope. Art. Right, now we're here in the art feature. 
and you guys can see that we've got a giveaway in progress. You, uh, right now we're giving away any one of these prints. In any case, uh, I did, as a matter of fact, voice Fox McCloud. I was Fox McCloud in uh, Star Fox Zero. The battle begins. And anyway, enough about me. Look at this freaking art. Morganics and Hexlock Spear drew these for me today to celebrate Scorance. If you're not super familiar with Fire Emblem and you're coming, uh, Rowan is from Shadowverse, which is a competitive card game, like Hearthstone. If you're not super familiar with, with Fire Emblem and my stream, I rag on this character, Lawrence, a lot, who has just an abysmal, awful hairdo. Hang on a second now, I'll bring him up for you. Uh, here we go. There he is. There's the man. So we're, uh, yeah. It's because I love Lawrence the most, right? So they, we, we decided to name Score Bunny Scorance, and uh, a couple of people drew. It's just, like, it just hurts my face. It just hurts my face. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna close the giveaway in 10 seconds, exclamation point ticket if the United States or Canada and you can enter to win a signed print while you look at these cursed bunnies. Giveaway is closed. Okay, who's gonna win a signed print? Regra! Congratulations, Regra! You've won a signed print from me. To refresh your memory, here they are. You can pick any one of these prints. Please get in touch with the mod, whisper them, tell you who you are, what you would like on the print, and your address. And they will send you, well, they're not gonna send it to you because they don't forge my signature. I'm not that underhanded and weird. They will let me know, and uh, I will get this out to you. Claudable hopes you've enjoyed this presentation. I did, as a matter of fact, commission a Gavin print. So, Gavin will be joining this, this crew. This song is actually just, it's just the game still playing in the background. Speaking of games, why don't we get back into it? You guys ready for some more Pokemon? Morganics, I hope I do see your the other score it's you drew. Thank you for, for drawing it. Uh, the fox print was drawn by um, Amanda Woodbridge, also known as Numbers. Thank you for the gift subs, Icy Floridian. Okay, now... Uh, yeah! Uh, Dimitri, why are you rooting for Victor on my stream? Do you need me to tell more people of all the languages that they can you can tutor them in? Just so you guys know, um, subscribers to my channel get access to my private Discord channel, uh, where we all hang out and act very silly. Uh, and in that Discord channel, there's actually a, a, a homework help channel, where everybody gets together and they help each other with their homework. Because we're just that f***ing wholesome. We have a homework channel. Nice, Icy Floridian. Thank you. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Like, our Discord server is, is really awesome. And if you need help in, uh, in uh, actually, ancient Mongolian, Ikemen Dimitri tutors that. Speaks it fluently. Don't take potions from strangers. Yeah, I know all this. Yeah, we have plenty of people that are doing college level stuff that are in the homework channel. 
And then I come in there and give you adulting advice, like how to pay taxes. It'll take your breath away, because there's smog and you can't breathe. Look at this guy, he's just, look at this dude flexing there. I just remembered what the sign here used to say. Opposite sides of the station. What do we do? Pop into the Pokemon Center? Is that, let's go to the shop here. Got your Pokedex from Sonya? Then it's time to meet lots of different Pokemon and start building up a strong team. Pokemon Centers. They look the same wherever you go. They're franchise, like McDonald's. Yep, it's my first time in a Pokemon Center. Yeah, I do want them healed up. Little Pokemon incubator back there. Captain Computers. Oh, okay. All right, so I can I can kind of exchange my team there. That person is gesticulating wildly at nobody. If you two kids are Pokemon trainers, you might want to buy some potions before you head out. Cheers, I'm already good though. Going to Route 2. Yes, please rest the Pokemon. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Man, I have four Pokemon already. How many total are in this game? Do we know? I remember in blue, I think like the, the number was like 200 something, wasn't it? Or 180 something, 400 Pokemon. Uh, I don't know that we'll be catching them all, guys. <laughs> I'm here to buy. Why can't I buy Pokeballs? I'm here to sell. All right. God. I don't even know if I want a sub goal to catch them all. I don't know if I want to catch them all. No, stop it. <laughs> Which Pokemon's nickname should I rate for you? Rating? Scorins? That's quite a fine nickname! Oh no, no! Oh, I can change him anytime. No, stop it. Everyone just stop. All right, we're going to go get some clothes, I guess everybody wants. Welcome to... Looks like it says Shishoshin. Berries! I got you fresh big berries! Oromberry? Huh? What's the difference between berries and potions? Are these are these ones that can be used in battle and other ones can't? I want one berry. I want one berry. That's it. Ooh, look at this fashionable dude or dudette. Having a meal with your Pokemon makes the food taste extra good. Don't cook the Pokemon! Poke doll. Oh man, I can get super stylish. These are all just different. Ooh, what was that? Oh, I like that a lot. Thirty thousand bucks for a t shirt. Oh, that's cool too. This kind of reminds me of, of my uh, my channel art a little bit. I think I'm gonna get that one. Yeah. Super 
super parkour. Well, let's get some let's get some parkour shoes. I don't know if I want loafers at all. A canvas travel bag. This is cool. No, I like the hat you have. Glasses, huh? Gloves. The gloves are a little much. Hot pink gloves. I'm really digging the music, though. Oh, we got some skinny jeans. They're all skinny. Oh, I like that blue. I like the blue. Yeah. Crew socks? I think it, we'll leave the socks alone. Not much, and I want to get. I think I want to wait for it to get a little. Uh, Those are pretty ridiculous. No, I don't think I want glasses yet. I think we'll make it we'll make it later. Let's let's Yeah, that's good for now. I really dig that shirt. It really like it not to like go right to it, but doesn't it remind you a little bit of the the channel art? Like just a little bit? I think it reminds me of that. I think it's cool. All right. All right, now I feel like I'm styling. Yeah, I'm waiting for the Black Friday sale. Is there any place in town I could buy more Pokeballs? Not yet? Okay. Yeah, sometimes I bet OBS is all screwed up. Let's see, I'm gonna take a hydration. Let me know if this sound just screws up. Did that sound terrible? Oh, okay. That's surprising. Yeah, the gym challenge. A proper rival is just the thing every trainer needs to keep growing stronger, after all. Keeps you motivated, right? Okay. Let's go down route two. Can I enter this person's house? Hi! Can I have your cookies? I actually, I'm a, like a, very much a side composer, but I once wrote a, um, a track. It was a tribute to RPGs for a child's play album. And it was actually called Walking Into Random Houses. That was my tribute. It was just like a, it was a tribute to RPG town themes. It was called Walking Into Random Houses. All right. Over here, Professor Treja. Oh, and I'm here to teach you. <laughs> Ah! Holy sh Leon! Your mom gave you those Pokeballs, did she? Hmm. I'll give you some more Pokeballs. In return, I'll only ask that you catch plenty of Pokemon. What the hell else would I with the Pokeballs, Leon? I love the sponsors on the cape. It's so good. 20 Pokeballs. And of course, they get experience points from battle. So take on the other trainers you meet along the path to help your Pokemon thrive. He's kind of like, like I would, that the voice I'm giving him kind of eventually like dips into like the 1950s, like, this blender will make your wife so happy. All right, I'm gonna catch loads of Pokemon. The professor will be shocked when she sees. 
You got a lot of balls, kid. What are you? I'm gonna get, oh no, I don't want you. Oh, I already have you guys. Is there any purpose at all to, your too, team is too nervous? Let's use a different Pokemon. Let's do Squafael. Oh, it takes my turn, that sucks. Fine. A critical hit! Uh, let's, uh, let's see what we got. Bite? Sure, let's, oh, let's, let's bite it. I don't know what the moon thing means, but. Ow! Ow! Okay, dark type, got it. Oh, that's a nice tackle, hit him again. Come on, Squafael. You're not nearly as effective as the Raphael and Fire Emblem. Raphael and Fire Emblem doesn't even take damage. I want a new one. Oh, what's that? I want that. Hi -ya! Yeah. A chudel. That's a. I gotta say, that face. Mm. Uh, sure. Hit him with an ember. Not very effective. Oh, cause he's, is he a water type? Do I have anything that's, uh... Nothing. Let's, let's use the, the sheep. Yeah. I don't know what the, honestly, like, I, I explained this at the beginning. I haven't played a Pokemon game since Pokemon Blue. I don't even know what types there are anymore. Let's tackle him. Lamb tackle. I'm gonna kick the crap out of my Marilam. Jeez. Hey, Migsy, welcome to the stream. Who's a, if you're a, if you're like a first timer and you have no idea who I am, drop that in chat. I'm curious, like how many people that don't know who I am are in chat right now. Thanks, Ikem and Dimitri. Got him! Well, welcome, Breezy. Welcome, CM. Yes, I'm Chris Hackney. Nice to meet you, Storm the Frontier. Burbadetta! So, I... I... <sighs> I think it's gotta be Chubert. I think it's gotta be Chubert. Yeah, it's Chubert. I, I love it. He even looks like he's angry. See, that's the best. Although, although, uh, Hubert doesn't have eyebrows, and Schubert does have eyebrows, he still looks sort of menacing, right? I think it's good. I think it's good. I'm never, like, I'm never gonna have to name any of these Pokemon, because you guys are so good at this. Uh-oh. That person looks like a mean little sh Oh. It's common manners for people to fight each other on the street when they look at each other. Where are we? 
You're challenged by youngster Jake. Nice sweater, Jake. Go, Scorins. It's Jake from State Farm. <laughs> uh, yeah, hit him again. Bam! He's burned now. Yeah, I just set a squirrel on fire. This game is twisted. You guys. This game is twisted. Finish him off with a tackle. Later. Yeah, rated E for everyone. Wait, that's all you got, Jake? You don't have more than one Pokemon? So I, this game, no, I'm sorry. Okay, so in the last five minutes, right, I captured a wild animal to force it to fight for me, okay? I met a young boy on the street and challenged him to fight. I set his squirrel on fire. And then when I beat him, I took his lunch money. What is this? Pokemon is some dark shit. I just want to make sure we're all on the same page here. Oh, there's a little ball up there. Ooh, what's that? Ooh. A wild nicket. Tackle him. Oh, wow. That was, uh... I don't think... I mean, I could try to capture it. Do it. So it's a nicket. Burbadet accrued to level 8. Ooh, more skills. So, Nick, it. I can't think of. I'm trying. I'm running through the. Let's see. Yeah, let's, let's call it. Oops. How about Fox McClaude? So what? Foxes are both male and female. Fox McClaudia, okay, I can do, I can do Fox McClaudia, I'll change it when I get, that's, that's probably a better idea. Jump down. Ah, oh, looks like another freaking middle schooler wants to fight me. Come on, eight-year-old, I will f*** you up. Okay, so I need to switch Pokemon to something. How about Burbadetta? Yeah. Did I just say that she was a boy? Did I did I mix it up? I'm confused as to why everyone's telling me this. Yes, that's right. I will set your pets 
on fire. Yeah, let's let's peck it. Yeah, Burbadetta. You did Emerald Ruby. Welcome to the stream. Uh, fight that Pokemon. All right, this this will last. That's true. Bye bye, small horn turtle. That's true. I'm surprised I could get Burbadetta to come out of the Pokeballs. Peck every last one of them. Now give me your lunch money. Oh, now I gotta fight you again? How many trainers are around here? Didn't I just kick your ass like 10 seconds ago? Youngster Benjamin, you didn't even palette swap him. He looks the same. Set him on fire. I want that shirt. Oh, wow. One shot. So long, blip bug. Sorry, Benjamin. You're done. Uh, Nicket, who do we... I can't remember who I fought him with last time. Oh, we'll keep... Ow! Oh, okay. Well, this will be... We're doing fine here, guys. We got no, no problems. Knock him out. <coughs> yeah. Now you give me your lunch money, and let's play tennis. But there's no net. Oh, this is probably like a Pokemon battle. What's over here? Anything cool? Oh yeah, come here, fish. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Here, fishy. Can I not jump in the water or anything? Fishing. Oh, I love the little Pokebob there. Got it. A wild Magikarp appeared. Why am I fishing in every game? It's not very effective. It took a quarter of his... Oh, it's gonna hurt. Nothing happened. Punch him in the face. Oh, crap. Well, I blew that. Let's do it again. I bet it's a totality spark in there. Oh, no. I'm not interested in you. I wanted, a, I wanted the other one. Bye. Got away. Did I just kick it back in the lake? Yeah, all right. I went both so careless this time. Hit him. That's enough. I'll try it. I'll try it. Yeah, give it a shot.
Yay! Hmm. Yay! Okay, so uh, I would like to give Magikarp. So the uh, the obvious choice is a Flame name. Flame Carp. It just and like I like it, but it's not as catchy. Fish Flame. Flame Flame of fish. Maga Flame. I could just call it Flane. Flane. Flano fish. Flano fish it is. I like that one. A lot of Gaelic names in the Fox. Fox McLeod. Flano fish. I like Flano fish. Uh, let's send to a box. Someone give Hina the fish she craves. Look, there's the professor! Have you unraveled all the secrets of the Dynamax phenomenon yet? Oh, goodness, no. The whole thing is still full of questions. I hope that my granddaughter would take over my research, but she's very lazy. And I don't like- Oh! There's someone else here! It's Queen Elizabeth- <laughs> Queen Elizabeth III! Dear me, I'm sorry. I didn't even notice my guests. Now come, let me have a look at you. Now come, let's head indoors. Wow, you guys really did give uh, Hina the fish she craved, huh? Why, Hop, dear, I see Wooloo has made some new friends. And you must be Professor Treacher. A little bit young for a professor, aren't you? You must already know about Dynamaxing, right, Professor Treacher? Here's a Dynamax. <gasps> Check out my Pokeflex. Ah! There are other things that are worth knowing about too, you know. Like women and alcohol. Oh. <laughs> or different types of tea. Well, whichever works for you, I suppose. Uh, uh. Why wouldn't you endorse them? Because I don't like them! I'm hungry too. I, I also would like to eat dinner. It did sound a little, little Johnny Bravo, didn't it? I have a funny Johnny Bravo story from another that I'll tell you guys sometime. Well, yeah, you're not wrong. That goal's precisely the reason I gave them both Pokemon, in fact. Such a brilliant battle. You're always making us fight each other. You're very emotionally manipulative. I'll be waiting outside, Professor Treja. Bring band-aids. Now remember, be sure to give it everything you've got. That's the best thing you can do for your Pokemon and for yourself, too. <laughs> I don't really think any old people do that, where they just sort of like fade off in unintelligibly. I'm not trying to be ageist or anything here. Well, Magnolia has a British accent. <laughs> She's not drunk. <laughs> oh, it's sunset. Hurry it up, Professor Treja. You gotta battle me so I can get myself that endorsement. But right here, since I'm in the middle of the Pokeball, let's do it! Spin! Yeah. 
Yes! Give him applause. Okay, Hop, I'm gonna... I'm gonna destroy you in front of your brother. I'm rather interested in seeing how you two do young trainers battle, too. Listen, you two, the reason I'm unbeatable is because I have this incredible half chin strap beard. Show me something good in this battle. It better not be your butts. This is where I crush my best friend. Ooh, that's not gonna go well. All right, we'll just uh, we'll just to tackle you. Oh, brutal. I'm, I'm about to end this whole man's career. Score and screw to level 12. Score and wants to learn the move double kick. Should an old move be forgotten and replaced with double kick? How about, uh, what's the other one? Growl, yeah, let's, screw that. One, two, and... Ta-da! Scorance forgot Growl and it learned Double Kick instead. Woof, there's a lot of leveling up going on. No, I'm gonna just keep, I'm gonna keep Scorance forever. Oh, I'll just fry him. Your Toast Grass Pokemon, super effective. Can I one-shot him? Oh, not quite. I did this to you before. You don't remember, Hop. That's why you suck as a Pokemon trainer, and you'll never beat me. Just tackle him. Yep, F for Grookey. Give me an F for Grookey in the chat. Grookey's adorable. Rookie D? No, I'm just gonna keep him forever. Sorry, Grookie D. It'll be a close one? You're not paying attention, buddy. I'm not gonna need berries. Not very effective. Uh, yeah, punch him in the face. I think you should be able to capture other Pokemon trainers' Pokemon, just to humiliate them. Oh, got it, but I lost. I can't talk like this, though. The sting of defeat and the joy of victory. I guess going through both is the key to the two of us getting str I'm getting stronger. You're just an obstacle. Professor Trija. Well, after seeing a match like that one, I suppose I've got little choice but to give you both, you're being generous, an endorsement as champion. I got a letter of endorsement. You put the letter of endorsement in your bag's key items pocket. The pocket where you keep items that are important. A letter of recommendation that you'll need in order to participate in the gym challenge. Void where prohibited. Thanks, Lee. I swear I'm gonna win my way through the gym challenge to reach you. Things like that have nothing to do with real strength. 
Someone in chat had it. It doesn't matter how you throw your Pokemon, Hop. You suck. Honestly, I'd been worried about you, obsessing over that nonsense, but now I have your friend to pay attention to, and I'll forget about you entirely. Alright, Professor Treja! You and me are gonna train up against one another to aim for that champion's title. Sure, I guess. <laughs> yeah! Wishing stars. Ugh. You obtained a wishing star. You put the wishing star in your bag's key items pocket. My Pokemon can Dynamax! Is that like 7.1 surround sound? I will be the greatest tra- Oh god, shut up! We know! I will be the greatest tra- I will be the greatest trainer ever! That's not a wish. That's like a weird ego, like megalomaniacal sort of declaration. <laughs> if they won't do a thing for you in that state, give them to me now so I can make my wishes! <laughs> Don't get carried away. You want to save your energy for tomorrow's journey. I'm sending both of you to purgatory. Hop is very Leone. She she's just sitting there twirling her hair. was trained by my brother Leon. Exactly. Leon, Leone. Adventure, go to school, you two. You're eventually gonna have to like go and get jobs. Uh, there was this weird heavy fog and then this even weirder Pokemon appeared and It's all pretty hazy. Get it? Cause fog and haze? Huh? Yeah? If I, it doesn't turn out for me to be a Pokemon trainer, I could be a stand-up comedian. Here's some cookies to send you on your way. Oh, and bracelets so I can track your location at every time. I want that shirt. Yeah, who needs a job but you can get money from beating up children on the street? My word, you don't waste any time, do you? Now, don't be afraid to go to all sorts of places and meet all sorts of Pokemon, but don't talk to strangers! Don't do that. Hop, get over it. Oh, sorry, White Mitch. We're all here. We're all here trashing on school. You're like, I'm a teacher. School's the best. You guys. Well, guys, it's it's 6 p.m. Pacific, which means we're at the end of our stream. I had a really fun time playing Pokemon. Do you guys want to continue Pokemon for a while? Because I really... Oh, I've got Discord DMs. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, awesome. Okay, hang on.
Hang on, right here. So I told you that during our, our Focadex, I gotta figure out a place to put these where they make, make sense. Uh, so I told you guys that I would, uh, that, our, that our resident artist, Ice Milk, would be drawing your, your, <laughs> your Pokemon that you made up during uh, the Focadex thing. And here's her first little sketch. There you go, guys. Dank Noodle is amazing. Joe Mama, these are all the fake Pokemon that you came up with. Schmover, Fish and Chip, these are fantastic. Ice Milk is the best. Give it up for Ice Milk in the chat. She's one of my mods and my emote artist and just a great person. So this is what you get. This is what you get from my stream, you guys. Yeah, I think I wanna keep playing Pokemon for a little while as well. Like, I'm having fun here. Um, do we want to rate someone playing Pokemon? Let's see, let's see who's, uh, who's, I don't want to rate anybody that's, like, gigantic. Let's rate someone that's... Let's see. Pokemon Sword Slash Shield. Let's see who's... Wow, there's so many people that have, like, gigantic amounts of... Raid Ninja? Is... Ninja's not... It doesn't... Ninja's not even here anymore. Doesn't he not stream on... Oh, my buddy, the number one Alex is, is streaming Pokemon Sword and Shield. We're gonna raid him. We're totally... We're totally raiding him. Yeah, we already raided a Sleepy Peach. I don't think we've had a chance to raid the number one Alex yet. What are we gonna, what do we say? What do we say? Because Fear the Deer doesn't make, I mean, Fear the Deer kind of makes sense. Uh, let's see. Fear Scorance? Joe has no balls, I don't, easy there. Uh, oh, I like, I like catch every last one of them. Or we could just go, like, if you want to be generic, we can just say Joe Schmoes. That's not a bad idea. Okay, so do we want, do we want, do we want uh, catch every last one of them, or do we want Joe Schmoes? Which one do we want? Schmoes Mad's good, too. Schmoes, Schmoes Mad's pretty good. Okay, catch every last one of them. We're going to go ahead and rate them. Guys, next stream is going to be this Thursday, 4.30 p.m. Pacific. We'll be doing lots more fun stuff. Um, that's it. I don't want to pitch anything to say hi to anybody or whatever. Let's just raid number one Alex. He's a good friend. Uh, and thank you guys for coming. I'll see you next time. Here we go.